following what seemed to be confirmation from the authorities that Heaven Hart had tossed his toys out of the stroller and tried to flee the United States. Interview. Following Diddy's sex trafficking arrest, which resulted in the re-emergence of videos from some of his infamous parties, Heaven Hart appears to be the most recent celebrity to distance himself from Diddy. In 2010, Hart hosted one of Diddy's hotel gatherings, which was full of half-naked women and a lot of alcohol. At one segment, the Hart star of Jumanji The Next Level is shown sitting on the edge of Jacuzzi Pool at a hotel in London, New York City, surrounded by ladies wearing bikinis. To be clear, neither Kevin Hart nor any of the other celebrities who attended the party have been charged with any wrongdoing or knowing of any criminal behavior. Meanwhile, Texas lawyer Tommy Busby, who represents more than 120 victims in civil lawsuits against Diddy, has implied that other people involved in Diddy's alleged illegal activities might also be charged. That there are other big names that will come out in relation to these charges. He says the day will come, you said this, when you start naming names. When will that day be and how big are these names that we're talking about? You know, people are very interested in, in that, of course. Uh, that comment has been repeated back to me, as you might imagine, many times. Uh, people are, you know, waited, waiting with bated breath, hoping that, you know, I'm going to name, name these big celebrity names. But I, I can tell you this, I look at it in this context. If you attended one of these events, and we're talking about, you know, we've heard about the white party and the freak offs and the after parties, but there's also, you know, impromptu parties at uh, studios, after parties from from uh, concerts, album release parties, hotel parties. I mean, the list goes on and on. But in my view, if you attended those and you saw or knew that somebody was being given uh, drugs, that their drinks were being drugged, and you sat by and either participated in some of this, this activity or encouraged this activity or allowed it to go on and helped cover it up, or were in the room while it was happening and said nothing and did not intervene and perhaps attended more of these parties knowing that this type of conduct was going to occur. It's my view, that it may not be the, the criminal justice system's view, but it's certainly my view that you're complicit. It's official. We're here. Dirty money. I would believe party last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I'm inside of the Swiss Sea. It's got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub uh, doing an official. You know what I'm saying? My tray's up here. Fans up here, you know, when you we have to seem like this, you gotta bring balls to it. As you see, it's female being shopped around a Diddy in another male. They say the other male is an A-list celebrity. I I I would wonder if he's white or black. And I, if I'm looking at any black guys that are A-listers that's bigger than Diddy, it's only one that I could come up with. And uh, oh, there's a few I could come up with. Will Smith, he's bigger than Diddy. I would think Nick Cannon is bigger than Diddy. Who else on the black, that are black actors or black in the, in the business that's an A-lister that's bigger than Diddy, that's black? That's hard to think. But then if you got the A-listers, you know, you gotta realize he ran with that black, that, 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 uh, that rat pack. And I don't want to even say their names because they said I got their names wrong last time. <laughs> What's his name? Kush Kushner? Uh, 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 what's the, uh, uh, what's the other guy? Uh, Leonardo? Uh, yeah, his name. <laughs> Man, I don't keep up with these cats. But I, I heard that it's not, that's not only the, the, the uh, tape that's being shot. There's some other tapes out there, of other people too with him and him doing some things with some other people. So it's quite a few tapes that might be out there what they're hearing. And I don't want to see the tapes, but I want to know if they really true. Cause if they got they if, if if they got some cake tapes out there and it's with some underage, whether it's celebrities or not, it's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be real crazy. And they're gonna have to bring that to forefront because the prosecutor's gonna want those tapes.
and they're gonna do whatever they have to do legally to get those tapes. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. So, we just better hope on, for his sake, that that's just a bunch of bull crap. But then there's lawyers out there saying, yeah, the tape does exist. Lawyers got on television to say the tapes exist. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really know or trust that because they was trying to say he had a tape with one of the bodyguards and this, this lady that came out. So we don't know what to think until we actually see that and we get those, we get that version. You remember we had that bootleg version of, of R. Kelly tape? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> They don't even bootleg. Yo, they don't even bootleg no more, man. So it's going to be hard to figure it out if it does exist. Do you believe the guy in the tape is white? If he's bigger than Diddy and he's not none of the names that I, I, I said, probably so. But didn't they say he was young too? Say he was young. Let me get his name right. I hope it ain't the Bieber. I hope it's not the Bieber. That's a good one. It might be him. But if they saying that the guy is young and he's an A-lister, I can't think of that many black people then. Right. Not at all. And somebody that more powerful, oh uh, well, well, more of a celebrity than Diddy. You understand what I'm saying? If they were saying somebody that was more celebrity than Diddy, he was an A-list and he was younger, you know what I'm saying? And if he's not black, it would have to be the Bieber. That's his name, Bieber? <laughs> they said, I got that wrong too. Justin Bieber, allegedly. I don't know, bro. But this is the world that we live in now, man. That these individuals thinks it's all right. Bruh. When does it comes all right to be sitting there eating food off a naked woman? When did we start doing what they do? Let's keep it a buck. When did we start doing what they do? These guys is popping pills. They got uh, 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 Jay-Z dancing with uh, a chick that's into capitalism and supposed to be witchcraft and stuff like that. When did we start doing that? Did involve minors? And what is the split of male and female alleged victims? Um, it's about 25 out of the 120, but as you might imagine, since we did the press conference, that number is growing. Uh, uh, sorry, 25 uh, minors or? 25 minors out wow. of the 120 clients. Yes, sir. Um, you know, and. The, the minors, they kind of fall into two categories. One would be the category of individuals with stars in their eyes trying to break into the entertainment industry who were either scouted or somehow found their way uh, to a studio or to a location where they were being screened. And, and either uh, the allegation is Mr. Combs himself or those around him involved took advantage of these people in some sort of quid, uh, quid pro quo to, to try to make them a star and, you know, in some of these cases, it was the parents who were essentially handing their child off uh, to a group of people that they trusted and who they thought were gonna make their child a star. That's one group. The second group of minors would be individuals who were recruited, whether it be in a hotel lobby, whether it be at a show uh, from the crowd, invited to a uh, after concert party that made its way to a hotel, whether it be to some of the parties that we all heard about, they went there at age 16. You know, I, I, there's a few that, that for instance attended a party in the Hamptons and they were only 16 and taken advantage of there. Um, so, you know, it really runs, runs the gamut, but um, you know, it's, 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 the allegations obviously are very egregious. Uh, we have to be very careful and responsible about how we pursue these. These are individual cases will be filed. Each case will live or die on its own merits. Each case will have uh, one or more defendants. Some, in some cases, they'll all 
uh, you know, they may, may be dead. You know, these types of, of allegations are very hurtful to people if they're not true and very hurtful, frankly, if they are true. But if they're true, you shouldn't have been in the room and you shouldn't have been participating. So I anticipate uh, that we're going to start filing uh, lawsuits and it may not be big names at first, but, but we have a long list of names and you might imagine in situations like this that when, when a victim tells us that this person was in the room or this person participated, we want to do as much due diligence as humanly possible before we file that case because in the United States, uh, in almost every state, uh, public filings are in fact public and you know when you name somebody in a lawsuit, the press is going to pick it up and we're aware of that. So we're going to make sure that we dot our I's and cross our T's and, and I expect that there will be some people named in, this law, in these lawsuits that will raise some eyebrows. Right, I mean, how big an eyebrow raise are we talking about? Because you've been hearing a lot of names, presumably in the process of all these calls coming in, and you're a pretty smart lawyer, so you can probably work out the wheat from the chaff in terms of legitimate, plausible claims here in terms of, of victims. Um, I mean, are we talking about names as big as Diddy, potentially? I expect so, I, ex I expect so. Um, you know, I'm, obviously those are the, the names that people are interested in, but I've tried to make sure people focus also on corporate entities uh, to include banks and hotels and perhaps even pharmaceutical uh, entities that were that were maybe not directly involved, but were certainly benefiting and profiting from this kind of activity. Um, you know, those I'm interested in as well. Uh, but there will, there, you know, we've seen all over social media the pictures and video of all the various individuals that attended these parties. And victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. The latest filing span nearly three decades from 1995 to 2021 and detail different accounts of horrific sexual assault. In 95, a woman says she attended a party for Notorious B.I.G.'s music video, One More Chance. It was there she claims Combs raped her in a bathroom. The woman said Combs brought her into the bathroom to talk privately and then began kissing her unexpectedly. She says she tried to pull away and he allegedly slammed her head into the wall, which caused her to fall to the floor. When she was on the floor, the producer allegedly hit her again, lifted her dress and raped her. After Combs allegedly threatened her by saying, you better not tell anyone about this or you'll disappear. A John Doe says he was just 16 years old when the mogul fondled him at one of his white parties in 1998. The male plaintiff alleges Combs told him he had the look of a star and then ordered him to drop his pants. He claims Combs explained to him that it was a rite of passage to becoming a music star and allegedly asked him, don't you want to break into the business? The then teen says he complied out of fear, anxiety, and the power imbalance he felt with Combs and later realized what he says happened in a hotel room after he invited her and a friend there for a party. Combs allegedly gave them drinks and told them to snort cocaine. The woman who was a freshman in college says Combs forced her friend to perform oral sex on him and threatened to kill them if they didn't comply. In 2006, another John Doe, who was a security guard at the now infamous white parties, claims he was sexually assaulted by Combs. The man says he began to feel extremely ill at the party after drinking two drinks with alcohol that were provided by Combs. The accuser says he was disoriented and alleges the Bad Boy Records founder forcibly pushed him into an open van, held him down, and sexually assaulted him. In 2008, another man claims he was sexually assaulted by Combs in a New York Macy's. This John Doe says he was an advisor at Echo Clothing, a competitor of the mogul Sean John clothing line. He claims he was in a stockroom at Macy's in Manhattan when Combs and three bodyguards entered. Doe alleges he was turning a corner in the stockroom when he was hit around the base of the neck, possibly with a pistol. He says this forced him to his hands and knees, and he saw that each of Diddy's bodyguards had guns in their waistbands. The man alleges he heard multiple voices saying things like, I'll kill you. Combs allegedly approached the man and forcefully, brutally, and orally raped him for at least two minutes. 
According to the suit after Combs was finished, he threw Doe's head aside and said words to the effect of, shut up or I'll kill you. And in 2021, another man claims he was drugged and assaulted by Combs and multiple other unnamed men at a party. This John Doe says he became disoriented after a drink at a New York party. He claims he was trying to leave when he heard another man say hold on and promise to help him. Doe says he remembers being in a bedroom unable to speak, move, or fight back. He says multiple men began sexually assaulting him through sodomy and other forced acts. But true Puffy, why does it all come to head now? Why, why now? Why? Because he's the acceptable monster at this time like R. Kelly was the last time I sat on this couch. Mm. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup? Yeah, no. yeah, we see the lineup. I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who's next? Jay-Z is setting Diddy up. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing shit different. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and fucking took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him and so he could level up Beyonce, who was struggling. Let's just say allegedly that happened. Now I want you to think about 106th and Park with Mary J. Blige. Free who is a victim of Sean Carter. Yeah. Mary J. Blige, who is a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah amongst each other. Think about that. You got a Diddy victim, you got a Jay-Z victim, and you got a superstar gone. They know what happened. So, Jack, when you say... Jay when I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay-Z's, Jay-Z's pregnant mistress yeah. who died of an imaginary f***ing aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimora who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list breaking news tonight. Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. Joining us now is CNN's entertainment reporter Elizabeth Wagmeister and also with us CNN chief legal correspondent Ellie Honing. Elizabeth, you were a a big part of revealing some details about Diddy's comment, uh, uh, conduct in private uh, over the course of the last couple of months. That video led to a lot more scrutiny on what he has been accused of. What do we know at this point about what this case might ultimately be about? Abby, at the moment, we don't know what the charges are. I have uh, information that he was arrested tonight at a Manhattan hotel. He is currently being processed. I heard from his attorney they are still maintaining his innocence. They said that in anticipation of these charges that Diddy relocated to New York last week. And here's a statement that I have from his attorney. He says, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. He goes on to say that he is an imperfect person, but is not criminal. Now, Abby, that video that you uh, just spoke about was a few months ago when our team broke this disturbing video of Diddy violently assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, better known as the singer, her stage name, Cassie. Now, up until this point, when we broke this video, Diddy had denied the allegations against him. Cassie is one of 10 civil suits against Diddy, nine of which he is accused directly 
of sexually assault. Up until that video, he denied everything. After that video came out, he changed his tone. He apologized for his conduct in that video. But I have to tell you, Abby, just as of last week, a former member of Danity Kane, which was one of the bands from Making the Band, Diddy's uh, show that was on MTV, she sued him for sexual assault and other disturbing allegations, and he denied that. So he continues the denials, and he still maintains his innocence, even though he has been arrested tonight. And, and Ali, not a huge amount of information available tonight, but Elizabeth uh, brought up something that I want you to give us a little bit of insight into. Uh, Diddy is here in New York, in Manhattan. Uh, he apparently came to here in anticipation that something like this might happen. What should we understand about what that might mean? Uh, it, it could very well be that this is uh, a federal arrest being processed here in New York. So, Abby, there are some important things we do not know, including the specific charges that have been lodged against Sean Combs. But there are some really important things we do know. First of all, based on the attorney's statement, based on our reporting, this is a federal prosecution. It's not a state prosecution. The fact that he's being processed in Manhattan tells me that's the Southern District of New York. That's consistent with the reporting that the Southern District of New York had been handling this case. That's the office I used to work at. That's an office that sort of specializes in high stakes cases. Just in the last year or so, Southern District of New York, just as an example, has successfully prosecuted Sam Bankman Freed, Senator Robert Menendez. The other thing that we do know is a grand jury has indicted Sean Combs, meaning they found probable cause that he committed at least one federal crime. Now, as to what happens next, there will be likely tomorrow or within the next couple days, but usually in the SDNY, you try to do it the next day, there will be an arraignment, meaning Sean Combs will appear in court with his lawyers. There are no cameras in federal court. He will be advised of the charges against him and he will almost certainly enter a not guilty plea. But the key thing to watch for is then we'll have the question of bail. Will prosecutors agree to let him out on bail? Will prosecutors ask the judge to lock him up pending trial? That could end up in a contentious argument. So these are things that are going to play out over the next 24 or 48 hours. And finally, Abby, with respect to the charges themselves, it's important to note, we've all seen that video, but assault and sexual assault are not federal crimes. Those are prosecuted in state court. So what I expect to see when we see this indictment is some sort of crime with some element of organization to it, sex trafficking, something along those lines, if it's based on some of the allegations we've heard. And of course, back in March, uh, his homes in LA and in Miami were raided. Uh, all of this leading up to this moment. Elizabeth and Ellie, a lot more to this story uh, will be coming up in the coming days and weeks. 